Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asimatics, and today we have really interesting question with factorials, we have 6 factorial times 7 factorial equal to x factorial, and a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is like very easy challenge, if you multiply 6 factorial times 7 factorial, maybe we'll have like 42 factorial, we can easily multiply 6 times 7, but in terms of math, it's not works like that, so in this video I'm going to show you a really great properties, how can we solve this really interesting question. Okay, so first of all, just imagine we have 4 factorial, okay, we have 4 for factorial. Everyone know that this is a product from 1 to 4. Yeah, we have 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4. This is basic school school thing. If we have 4 factorial, this is a product from 1 from 1 to 4. But I want to show you a really great trick. So right now let's multiply both sides. So let's multiply left side and right side by 5, okay? When we multiply left side by 5, we have 5 times 4 factorial. This is our left side. And on the right side, we will have absolutely the same thing. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And if we multiply it by 5, we need to multiply it on the on the right side. So we have times times 5. Really great. But if we look closely, what do we have right here? On the left side, we have 5 times 4 factorial. Yeah. But on the right side, we have a product from 1 to 5, which implies that this is a 5 factorial. Yeah. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our 5 factorial. And this is really important formula in our case. 5 times 4 factorial equal to 5 factorial. And it's not works only in, in this case. We can easily write this formula 6 times 5 factorial equal to equal to 6 factorial. Yeah, we can easily write it with 8. For example, we have 8 times 7 factorial equal to equal to 8 factorial, okay? And according to this pattern, according to this property, we are going to solve our, we're going to solve our question. So first of all, let's leave this 7 factorial like that, okay? So let's, right now, let's try to, let's try to solve it, okay? Here's our question. We have 6 factorial times 7 factorial equal to, equal to x, x factorial. Right now, let's leave this 7 factorial right here on the left side. So we have right here 7 factorial. And our 6 factorial, let's write as a product from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So we have 7 factorial times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, and times 6. Really great, equal to x, x factorial. Okay, and right now let's solve this challenge according to this according to this pattern pattern. So according to seven factorial, if we multiply this seven factorial by eight, as a result we will have eight factorial. So right now, let's use according to this left side, let's use this seven factorial and let's find eight. But we can't find our eight. If we multiply two by four, we have our eight. So let's use this two and this and this four. Right now, let's group this expression. So let's group this seven factorial, let's group this two, and let's group this four in our in our parentheses. Okay, so as a result, what do we have right here? We have in, inside our parentheses, we have seven factorial times two times four equal to eight. And we still have this expression. We can easily cancel this one because it changed nothing. We still have three, five, and six. So we have times three, times five, and times six equal to equal to x factorial. Really great. Right now, 7 factorial times 8 equal to 8 factorial. According to this property, as we made it before, yeah, we have 7 factorial times 8 equal to 8 factorial. So this is our 8 factorial. As a result, we have 8 factorial times 3 times 5 times 6 equal to x factorial. Right now, let's use the same property, the same logic right here. So if you multiply 8 factorial by 9, we will have 9 factorial according to this pattern, okay? So if we have like 8 factorial times 9, as a result, we have 9 factorial, okay? And let's use this pattern right here. Let's find our 9. Where can we find our 9? We can easily rewrite this 6 as 2 times 3, okay? We can easily write it as 2 times 3, and we will take this 3 times this 3. As a result, we have right here, we have 3. Right here, we have 3, we have 9. And we have these 8 factorial. So right now, let's group this expression inside our parentheses. Okay, as a result, we have right here, 8 factorial, 8 factorial times 3 times 3 equal to, equal to 9. So we have times 9 equal to, not like equal, we still have 5 and we still have 2. Okay, don't forget about this. We have times 5 and times 2 equal to x, x factorial. Really great. Right now, 8, 8 factorial times 9 equal to 9 factorial according to this according to this pattern. So we have right here, we have 9 factorial times 5 times 2 equal to 10. So we have times 10 equal to x, 
x factorial. Really great. And right now the final step, because 9 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 9. So we have not like 1 to 9, we have 9 to 1 from 1 to 10, because we still have this constant right here. So this is a product from 1 to 10. And as a result, this is our 10 factorial. Okay, we have 10 factorial equal to equal to x x factorial. And right now I'm going to show you a really common mistake because a lot of students do this common mistake. They raise, not like raise, they find this 10 factorial. They write it from here, x equal to 1 times 2 times 3, and they find the exact value of this of this 10 factorial. This is a very common mistake right here, and don't do this like that because this is absolutely, absolutely incorrect. From here, we can easily see that in our minds, we can easily reject this factorial because 10 factorial equal to 10 factorial, and one and only case that this equation will have roots when 10 equal to x, and in our case, x equal to 10 because we can easily swap, swap position. So from here, our x, x equal to, equal to equal to 10, we can easily check our solution, but I hope we don't need it right now because this is like very, it is not like a higher mathematic question, this is like basic school challenge, so we hope you understand my explanation. So first of all, don't forget about this, about this mistake because a lot of students solve this challenge like that, in the end, okay, they raise this, they find this value of this 10 factorial, this is the first way, and the second common mistake right here, because in the beginning we have 6 factorial, times 7 factorial. And a lot of students, not like a lot, maybe half of students, multiply 6 factorial times 7 factorial, and they say that this is equal to 6 times 7, and right here we have the factorial sign. And as a result, we have 42 factorial, which is absolutely incorrect. So this is our first common mistake right here. Forget about this, this approach in the end. And this is our second common mistake right here. A lot of students multiply it, but this is absolutely incorrect. There's no this, um, this property in terms of factorials. Just forget about this. And the correct answer is 10. So we hope you understand my explanation. I try to explain it slowly, slowly, because this is like very a tricky challenge. Maybe a lot of students start learning factorials and a lot of students are in the beginning of learning factorials. And I try to explain you step by step. So just learn about this property and step by step, we're getting closer and closer to our answer. 7 factorial times 8 equal to 8 factorial. 8 factorial times 9, right here we have 3 times 3. 8 factorial times 9 equal to 9 factorial. And in the end, basic, basic property, 9 factorial times 10 equal to 10 factorial. And from here, our answer is, is 10. So let's write our answer. Let's write our final answer. x equal to 10 x equal to 10. And uh, maybe in a previous video, maybe two weeks ago, I, I wrote about this, uh, wrote about this property, but basically if we have 6 factorial times 7 factorial, this is equal to 10 factorial. But from here we can easily express like mm, 7 factorial or 6 factorial, yeah? For example, we can express from here our 7 factorial, yeah? This is our first interpretation, okay? And we can easily express from here our, um, our second interpretation. We can easily divide both sides by 7 factorial. As a result, we have 10 factorial times 7 factorial equal to, equal to 6 factorial. Yes. And the third, third interpretation, this is a really important interpretation. I'm going to explain this interpretation right now. So if we have 10 factorial over 6 factorial, this is equal to 7 factorial. And why these interpretations are unique? Because in terms of mass, this is one and only one case when we can express a factorials as a product, okay? Basically, uh, a product of two factorials equal to 10 only in one case, when this is equal to 6 factorial and this is equal to 7 factorial. So this is only, only one case, only one, one case, when we can express a product or um, a fraction according to two factorials. And of, of course, we will have like a factorial on the right side. So this is one and only case in terms of mass, when we can express a factorial as a product. So when we can express this product of two factorials as a factorial on the right side. Okay, so I hope you understand my thoughts about it. This is really, really tricky moment, really tricky, really tricky uh, moment in terms of math, because a lot of students uh, try to find another cases, but there's only one case in terms of math when a two product of two factorials, when a division of two factorials equal to a factorial. Okay, so I hope you, I hope you understand the thought about it. So maybe a little bit long video, but I want to, I think you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand why a correct answer is 10. 
understand and I hope you understand about these special cases which is really important thing in terms of math, math. maybe in the previous video I remember about this about these special cases but it doesn't matter we will we will learn it once more maybe a lot of new viewers on my YouTube channel I really appreciate it and I think you you understand my thoughts about it so thank you for your time thank you for your support I really appreciate it for a sponsorship I really appreciate that there are a lot of students who support my channel I really appreciate it it helped me a lot it inspires me a lot to make new videos every day and thank you for your time have a great day wish you all the best love math and take care of yourself